Love that for me. Here we go. It is not like a really nice. Then she was gone. Big energy, which I don't think. vlogmas day one i'm not doing all of vlogmas i'm doing with the first 12 days if y'all don't know what vlogmas is it's where you vlog every day until christmas i did it for years especially growing up probably from like 16 to like 22 um and then i find that when i do all 25 days i'm just putting up content that's like bad and i'm gonna be doing 12 days of vlogmas so Get ready. Oh, as of right now, actually, the puff bag for the Okine just launched this morning, or it's launching today. So go check that out. I'm very excited. Anyways, I'm on my way to work out. I'm grabbing a Starbucks. I have so many ideas for Vlogmas and what I'm gonna be doing, and just for videos in the future. I also go to Europe in a month. We're going to Paris, Amsterdam, and London, so I'll be vlogging all of those and going with Marissa and Lauren. I thought about not vlogging, but honestly, like, I would just, like, hate not having that footage. That's the coolest thing about vlogging is that you have all the memories. So let me know what y'all want to see in this year's Vlogmas. Subscribe to so y'all are notified. I have a big list of things that I'll put on the screen. Actually, I'll just say some to you. Post with me reacting to old videos, which I don't really care as much about because that just like cringes me out. You guys don't have to go through the cringe, you know? Today is like a very chill day that I have. It is the Monday after Thanksgiving. I'm getting my life back together. I'm just having a nice day. I'm doing all the things I love to do. We're going to work out. We're going to honor bar. I've got to clean my house a little bit, organize, go through the closet, work on the garden. Like we've got some things, okay? Okay, monthly favorites or year recap, which I did record a podcast episode on that though. Cooking and grocery haul, how I plan for the new year, vision board, deli and cooking. There's a deli that I became obsessed with that I honestly might even go to today. Vlogging like I'm Martha Stewart for the day. What I spend in a month living in Dallas. I'm doing what I spend in a day today. Solo dates, opening up about like breakups and stuff because I always get those questions. So subscribe if y'all are new here. I'm so excited. Um, follow me on Instagram, TikTok, all that stuff. Oh my gosh, it's so bright. Wow. Wow. Guys, if you're in Dallas, my dad is opening new med spas at Germani. Um, by the time this vlog goes up, I think they'll be opened. I don't really know. I'm pretty sure they're going to be open. The date has changed a few times. That's why. So I'm, this is my Starbucks order. Screenshot it. It is the best thing ever. It's also on my Instagram highlights if you need it when you're ordering. Back home in my closet room. I just got ready for the day. I have a little bit of work to do and then I'm going to lunch with a friend. This is the look. I have the Okine Rigan scarf. My jeans are Abercrombie and then I'm just wearing Uggs. And then I'm gonna wear the new Okine bag that I just launched today. Be well, as you guys are watching this, not like real time, because it's so cute and it carries my Kindle and my vlog camera, which my vlog camera is pretty big. Let me show you guys. Like, see, it's pretty big. So, this is my lunch look. At Highland Park Village, my favorite place ever. So beautiful this time of year. Okay. No, you're just having like a good bun day. Just finished lunch and I need to stop at Sephora. It's Cyber Monday, so like technically I could probably get better deals online, but I'm at like the end. Like I, I need these products now. Sephora is like really a stickler about filming inside the stores, so I will just give you guys a haul when I'm back. I'm at the West Village one though. West Village, first off, has really stepped up lately with the shopping. There's so many more stores here now that are cool. And then their Sephora is the best Sephora. It is by far my fave. Guys, I'm a little bit disturbed by myself because I got a lot of stuff. And I will say, I know I'm doing a What I Send In A Day video, so this is very unfortunate. I go and do a stock up or like a big spending spree at Sephora like twice a year. And today was one of those days. Okay, I'm out of everything and I wanted to try new things and I got carried away. I got absolutely carried away and I spent $438. This is not normal and this is not what I normally do or spend 
okay? But I will show you guys what I got because I'm stocking up. Like, I got two San Tropez tanners. I love this one. I'll link these below. I love this one because it is very hydrating. And then I love the Express one because it's quicker. So just depending on like what I want. I got the NARS eyeshadow palette, which I haven't bought an eyeshadow palette, honestly, since like the Naked palettes. Like I never have eyeshadow palettes, but Kristen, my makeup artist, has been using, just doing different things on me and it inspired me. And I thought this one looked really pretty and something I would use like all the time and it's compact and good for traveling. And I just really liked it. I also got the bronzer. I'll have her Instagram um, on here because it's always listing the products that she uses, which is really helpful. I got the Fenty Beauty bronzer, and this is, okay, I'm also not tan right now, so keep that in mind, but why can't I open this? This is actually the shade she uses on me, which I feel like looks dark, but it works, so you will see. I've been using the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer, and I do really like that. I just like wanted to try out the stuff that she uses. I got another Summer Fridays lip balm, and then I got the Laneige sleeping mask because my skin and my lips have been so dry since it's gotten colder. I also got, I stocked up two Super Goop glow screens because I, this is my Holy Grail product, I use it every single day, and I ran out, so I needed more, and since I've used it so often, I like to just buy a couple at once. Um, oh, I finally got the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. I'm sure y'all have seen this before. I've never had it, but I've heard amazing things. Got a Dior Lip Glow. Let's pull this out. This one's in pink. I really like these. Um, I already have a little bit of product on my lips, but it just gives that like a really nice glow. I personally really like this. I'm sure there are better dupes, and if there are, let me know actually down below because I feel like I'm always just spending so much money on lip products. Oh, and then I got the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation because that's what she's been using. I basically just got a lot of products that she uses on me on my looks for the live show and then what other shoe? we had another shoe for that puff bag and we kind of figured out like what I like with my makeup so it's making me want to get better because like when you get your makeup done by a professional and then um well really just I do it myself after it is nowhere near that and I want to get to a place where I'm like better at makeup I even ordered I became a member or signed up for um, Kelly Ann's like makeup subscription thing and I'm gonna be teaching myself because it is out of control how bad this is So anyways, I have some returns to do after I just spent that at Sephora I need to drop off a Revolve return and then a Good American return. I love Good American um, These just like don't fit me so very Very eventful guys I've also been listening, driving around listening to Luke Combs and like nothing puts you in a better mood, you know? I'm pretty sure y'all have already seen my drama in the garden. <laughs> Love that for me. So I bought a shovel because I finally have this knife in my hand. They did send me a new raised garden bed because what happened was like, the outsides of the garden expanded and they weren't supposed to. And so I had a guy, my like, favorite house garden, the nicest guy ever, come over and build it again and he got rid of the broken one. And now I have all this dirt and mud and disgusting stuff that I need to shovel into the other garden. And things are growing. Like, my onions are really sprouting here. So I've got to figure this out, okay? I got a shovel because I thought, you know what? It's time. I've never owned a shovel before. Oh my God. I accidentally, I think, bought two. That's not good. Oof. Pretty up. Okay. Here we go. All right. Don't even worry about me, guys. I am so prepared. <sighs> guys. Oh, here we are. Looks like a pretty nice shovel if you ask me. Now we go upstairs. Wish me luck, everyone. Sunglasses are going back on. Why is this, why is there dirt under here? Here's a little update. All right, we gotta figure this out. The squirrels keep coming. Let's see, it's been raining a lot. It's actually watering has been really iffy. We got some kale, arugula, this is, needs or water, but look at all this, like, <sighs> and then we just have extra boards from before. So I'm assuming this just was, became a mess when she did it, hopefully. This is what we have. Like this 
First off, how am I ever going to get like the mud out of that, you know? I don't have a, I mean I do have a hose that hopefully will start working up here soon, but I'm just concerned and there's so much like dirt and I just don't want to put all of it back in and I just like, I do have an outdoor broom so I think I'm going to keep sweeping it under, but I'm going to talk to my grandma first, see what she says. I don't even remember, like so much of it obviously just like fell out. Guys, you can't really see I guess, but... I have my new Lucchese boots. Oh, perfect. In my cowboy boot closet, these are not cowboy boots, but they are Marissa's. And they are not even supposed to be there. I don't know how they got there. But anyways, oh my gosh. This cowboy boot closet is just so fabulous. I love it so much. All right, I just changed into comfy clothes. I'm wearing my brown wedding housewife sweatpants which are currently on sale for cyber monday i think they're like 50 percent off like some of it is really really good deals but i'm about to record my next three podcast episodes i pretty much have the remainder of the year recorded into january besides like one i think but i need to send intros and outros and ads because my producer will be out of town and then everything is going to be due just for the holiday season but i'm really excited we have the brooke book episode everything about books speaking of i finished what was it? Then she was gone, Lisa Jewel. You know what I like randomly really want? A Pura. You know how everyone does brand deals for them? I haven't. It's not sponsored, but I'm like, that actually sounds incredible. What did I finish reading? I can never remember the name. I was right. Then she was gone, Lisa Jewel. Um, I thought I had read it, honestly, and then Molly texted me about it and asked me, and then I looked at it and I'm like, I don't think, I think maybe I got the sample because I recognized it and obviously I know Lisa Jewel, and it was like so good. Yeah, top two thrillers that I've read this year. 4.5 out of 5 stars, honestly. Like, I did kind of see the incoming. Like, I did guess certain things, for sure. But even knowing what they were, it was just such a good book that it, like, didn't even bother me. We have the Brooke book episode. What else do we have? I'll give you guys a little inside scoop. Oh, we have one of the string chicks, which is dealing with family drama and loneliness around the holidays. I'm so excited for that. We have Jazz. We have Women Acme. We have Kit. We have my favorites, like, what I learned, all of those, you know, podcast episodes. And I'm also going to do a routine episode, which I'm really excited for. I could see if my weightlifting coach wants to record a podcast together because I feel like weightlifting is could be interesting. And like my new journey and whatever, obviously I'm washing the rug right now. Getting a ruggable rug in here was definitely the right call because I wash my rug like at least once a week, if not twice. Um, and I'm just obsessed. So anyways, I have to send in all of these now. I think I should cook tonight. Honestly, I just like don't want to order groceries. Be, I would like to go to Sprouts, ideally, but Mondays it's just so busy and then I'm just gonna add to like what I spent today and I'm gonna be flamed by Graham Stephan again. And I don't really want that. I don't want that at all. So uh, if you're watching this, Graham, please don't make another video about me. I would really appreciate it. I can't handle it. No thanks. finished it was a lot of talking i sent in three episodes here's my little grocery haul i got shredded shredded chicken too much of it actually but i will be using this somehow this week chicken stock some snacks mac and cheese to just have on the go um onion green onion celery dill unsalted butter and then I got myself this little sandwich as a late lunch. I'm so hungry. About to start editing. Before I forget, I'm not editing. Whatever, I'm going to work. But before I forget, we are doing a Dallas book club. So there's actually two events for the Dallas girls this coming week. The 7th, we have the Dallas book club, which starts at 7 p.m. It's at Wild Detectives, which is like a bookstore, bar, coffee shop. It's so cool. And we are reading It Starts With Us. So like, read it before you come to the book club, and then we'll be talking about it. But even if you don't read whatever, like come get a drink, hang out, make friends. It's going to be really fun. Then December 8th, the Oak Kind is having a Christmas party. So these are like two separate things. Um, and we'll be doing like Christmas card pictures that you can take there. You can shop in person. Um, it's going to be really fun. But book club. Don't forget, if you guys are coming to read the book, it starts with us. I'm sure a lot of you guys already have. Um, and then it is a week from today. So I think December 7th, it's Wednesday. So you need to come. I'm telling you guys right now, you want to be there. I need everyone to see this photo. It's on my close friends right now, but the vlog, the vlog gets it. This is Sophie. She takes mirror pictures like this. She's wearing the Okine beanie. Like, is that not the funniest thing ever? Also just reviewed 
one of my new favorite books. I'm almost at my reading goal of the year. I think I have like three or four left. Lots of good reads in here. And some Sapar ones, let's be honest. But I do tell you what to read and what not to read. Okay, I just showered. Here I am in vintage Breadwinning Housewife. I'm making mac and cheese because I realized that I needed two types of milk. I don't think I've ever bought like normal milk for my house, like honestly ever. And I needed it for this recipe and apparently I needed like two different kinds that I didn't figure that out. So I'm gonna make it either tomorrow or the next day and I'm just making myself Annie's mac and cheese for dinner, which is fine because I weirdly have a headache so, I wasn't really feeling making new soup anyway, or like another recipe anyways. Oh my gosh, I'm getting really tired, it's like 6 p.m. Also, y'all, I ordered this, I'm not kidding, like two hours ago, on side, like for side Monday deals, and they have already arrived. That is like so creepy. So while we were here, might as well go over what I spent today. Starting with Starbucks. Let's see. Oh, by the way, I showered in self-tan. That's why I look like this. These videos like give me anxiety and this is a grocery store and a Sephora stock up day. Okay. My Starbucks isn't loading, but I'm assuming it was like $7.98 because that's normally what it was. I got a coffee and egg bites. For lunch, my meal was 31 and I tipped 10, so it's $41. I spent four, whatever I said earlier, at Sephora. Um, I did buy those Amazon Nest things, which were like $112. And then my groceries, oh God, this is not ideal. My groceries were $68.35 and that is it. So, around $685, give or take, that can be off because I don't have the exact specifics, just what I remember. Um, oh, you know what, actually, that plus I pay $150 per month for my classes and I take around, t so that's about $15 a class. It's an expensive day, that is not normal. I will say I spend a lot eating out on weekends and I'm sorry, I'm not proud and I shouldn't have gone to Sephora today. Like, and I could have gone tomorrow. Not because I regret it, but I could have gone tomorrow and not added that to the video, you know what I mean? Anyways, making my Annie's mac and cheese, and then I'm gonna read, and I think that's really it for today, so I might just end the vlog. I hope you guys are liking day one of Vlogmas. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you guys wanna see. I'm excited to edit this, actually, you know? Subscribe if you're new here. Love you guys, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.